Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, this is the uh, the barrels that we use for the celery and uh, they're all gone now and thank you to everyone for the suggestions on what to do with the what was remaining and if I ever do celery again I uh, will try it because it was the uh, bog garden and uh, the celery still didn't work. As you can see now these pepper plants have been well frosted so I need to do something with them. I'm going to be taking and get two of the better ones up replanting and taking to the greenhouse grow room and the other two uh, this is going to be the brassica cage so I might do one in each corner no I'll do two there as I'll only say that they're actually in the way so let's have a go and see what we do and what we get so my thoughts are is to uh, leave them in these uh, containers I'm going to cut them off so far up not sure whether they'll survive normally uh, you'd uh, have them inside but these are the labels that came with it and I think that was the correct so leave the labels in there with them I'm going to take some of these leaves off I'm hoping uh, you'll tell me if it's worthwhile doing or not because uh, now they've been frosted but uh, I think I'll cut them down to below the height I'm going to cover them up so that's that for now I'm going to pull a few weeds out of there put the labels right in the side so I can see them and then top them up spent compost which I've just fetched to the compost to get off the side of the road need to uh, get rid of those need a little bit more and I'm hoping that that will uh, just uh, help them along and I'm going to uh, cover them up with my uh, underground worm farm covers uh, there'll be a bit of air gets into that uh, just to help them might be a complete waste of time but we'll never know if we don't try all right so let's have a little look oh camera angle ain't very good so i'll just adjust that so i'll just get these trimmed and we'll just see uh we've got two in this one these don't seem to have a lot of stems uh, further down so we'll have to see how they go on next year and I've got a few to go at so if they don't come out properly right, I'll just loosen this out of the because realistically it should come uh, come this way there's plenty of root there there's worms so we should be able to whoop, push that through discard that so this shouldn't take uh, too much potting up I'm going to step in front of you again flower buckets only last so long before they break trying to get as much done while well, the weather's still pretty good so I shall be bombarding you with videos and I'll just try and spread them out a little bit this compost come from the uh, spent potato compost using my homemade uh, using uh, leaf moulds and uh, manure and everything else out of the compost bins my magic mix so that'll do for that one I'll get another one done or two this one was coming out nice and easy as well it looks like it's this is probably quite a good idea if you needed to uh, move something uh, in the future so there's plenty of roots there let's pop it back through there Whew. 
It'll teach me to drop it in without closing my eyes. I've got a face full of uh, compost. Uh, just a little bit of compost on top of there. Just need to get a bit more. But those will be going back up to the greenhouse grow room and I'm going to get rid of the rest. Compost on. Let's get this area tidied up now. The string, I'll use that for uh, the uh, broad beans so that won't get wasted. Recycle the labels and uh, put the stakes away for the winter for further use. It's nice just to get another one done. And uh, this doesn't get dug because this is the brassicas. So I uh, may as well trample it down now before I get uh, the next load of uh, manure on here. And get it covered with cardboard. Another bed nice and tidy. So as soon as the uh, purple sprouting's finished, because last year if you remember, or was it this year, I took the brassica cage off and the pigeons had uh, all the tops out. So I'm going to learn my lesson and get all this covered up. So uh, we'll see how uh, these do, if they don't do any good uh, come the spring, uh, they can come out. And uh, the uh, lettuce bed's all sorted now and I think I'm going to uh, put a load of compost on this. Uh, probably won't... Uh, Car put cardboard on this just on the manure keep the worms happy I can dig the compost in on here uh, in the uh, in the spring this was the harvest of the peppers uh, before we had that severe frost I'm glad I took them off at least we've got uh, another couple of weeks supply and let's go and have a look at the wildflower garden now this bottom end we actually uh, put some uh, flowers as you can see, some of them have actually gone now and I've already took some seeds off these uh, marigolds and literally everything's uh, gone now. And we also had our dahlias. So instead of taking them up, I'm going to try something similar to what we've just done and I'm going to put a load of spent compost on. So for now, I'm going to clear this area of all the ones that we don't want. So that just leaves us now with a few of the other plants and dahlias. Let's go and have a look. So these should do uh, a lot better next year. There's some uh, snapdragons. There's one of the dahlias. There's another one there. I've left these in because these are going to seed. They look quite pretty. Some of these have uh, done well and actually produced uh, some nice flowers. I don't know whether you can actually see that or not. Damn shadows, there we go. And all the sweet peas self-set. So some of the uh, material that I've been using for the containers can go just cover it up. So all these dahlias I'm going to mound up and we should easily see them uh, with the, uh, the spent compost. Do both these, the one that you can't see as well. We'll give uh, a full container each. These will be okay. So I'll do the other one and that'll be uh, a good job done. Yeah, so uh, we've got the three dahlias there. The dahlias that were at home in the containers have all been uh, put into the greenhouse grow room. I've got to have a look at those. Not sure whether I've put them, together, uh, put them away properly. But next year the uh, sweet peas, if they come, can uh, climb up that instead of this uh, the uh, canes I'll get those took down as well while I'm at it anyway let's go and get that with a salad bed covered in compost there's still plenty less so why not use it
just don't suppress the weeds. If not, it might become worse. Worms have got a little bit of cover. And it just looks pleasing to the eye. It's nice to get half straight. Gotta make gardening as simple as you can, but as productive. That looks better for a sweep. Surprising how many uh, frogs are about. They should be uh, getting inside now and hiding. But I just noticed these for a late showing of uh, pond flowers. It will look uh, really strange to have the uh, brassica cage uh, right close to the uh, my shed again. It does block everybody out, but that doesn't matter. Happy gardening to you all. Please comment, like, subscribe, don't forget to press the bell. And join me on the Facebook group Keep Calm and Make Compost. To ra for now. put the spent potato compost back in the dustbins ready for further use out the way. Happy gardening, till next time.